I'm going to instruct in downloading a Windows 10 version 1803 installation ISO and creating a bootable USB. Although it is version 1803, Microsoft were slightly delayed in its release, so they actually call this the April 2018 update opposed to the March 2018 update, although the version is 1803 as stated. So if we just open up our browser and search for the Windows 10 media creation tool, this should take us to Microsoft's website. And as you see, it says Windows 10 April 2018 update. We're going to select download tool now and we're going to save the media creation tool. So let's just go to our downloads folder and we'll see the media creation tool has 1803 on it and if we right click it and select properties and go to details you'll see that it's build 17134 so let's just double click the windows 10 media creation tool except to use our account control prompt and then it will get a few things ready and take us to the license agreement screen scroll down and then select accept We'll get a few things ready again and we'll have the options to either upgrade this PC now or create installation media. I'm going to create installation media. So I've got three options here. The first one is the language and I'm going to select English United Kingdom. The second one is edition. This isn't really an option because Microsoft following our feedback have made the installation ISO multi-edition. So all editions of Windows 10, OEM and Retail are present on this installation ISO. And for the vast majority of cases, you'll be using 64-bit Windows 10. Once you've selected your three options, select Next. And here you can use the tool to either directly create a USB flash drive or download the installation ISO. Now I prefer to download the installation ISO so I have it to hand for later on and I prefer to use Rufus to make the bootable USB because it usually does a better job. So I'm just going to rename the ISO so I know that it's version 1803, it's English UK and it's 64 bit. And once I'm happy with the file name, it's just a case of selecting save. The Windows 10 media creation tool will then download the Windows 10 setup files from Microsoft servers. Once it's downloaded these files, it will check their size. And then if it's happy, it will create an installation ISO from these files. Now, because the installation ISO is actually created on your computer, it will have a unique time and therefore it will have a unique checksum so there's no point in checking the ISO checksum. The Windows Media Creation tool will check the ISO is OK. So now we'll be given the obsolete message about burning the ISO to a DVD. I'm just going to select finish but note that I do not recommend using a DVD to install Windows 10 in any circumstance. So let's open up documents and just see that we have the Windows 10 installation ISO. And we can see that the file size is about 3.46 gigabytes, which is typical of a Windows 10 installation ISO. So now let's open up our browser and search for Rufus. This is the tool that we will use to make the bootable USB. So if we go to the Rufus website and just download the latest version and select save. So now I'm just going to go to this PC and I'm going to insert a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive. And in my case, my USB flash drive is blank. 
Note that all the data on your USB flash drive will be formatted when you create Windows 10 installation media, so ensure you don't have anything important on it. So let's just double click Rufus and accept the user account control prompt. It will ask us if we want to check for updates, but we've just downloaded the latest version, so we won't bother. So the first thing we need to do is load the installation ISO. So we're just going to select the load installation ISO button, select our installation ISO and select open. The device should be our USB flash drive. And for most cases, you'll be using the GPT partition scheme for UEFI and the FAT32 file system. So we can check our computer by pressing Windows and R and typing in MSinfo32. So what we're looking for is the SM BIOS version. And if it's 2.7 or later, we should be using a UEFI BIOS with Secure Boot. If these technologies are disabled, we'll need to enable them before installing Windows 10. If it's 2.6 or 2.5, we'll need to use the MBR Petition Scheme for Legacy Bias and we'll need to use NTFS. Now I like to change the volume label to the version of Windows 10, so I'm just going to change it to 1803. And that way I know what version of Windows 10 this installation media is. And once I've done this, it's a case of pressing start, selecting OK at the warning to format your USB flash drive, bearing in mind all data on it will be lost. And then it's just a case of waiting on Rufus to make the bootable USB. And once it's finished making the bootable USB, it will say ready at the bottom. And that's it, you now have your Windows 10 version 1803 bootable USB and you may use this for a clean installation of Windows 10 or you may open it within Windows Explorer and launch the setup.exe to begin an in-place upgrade from an older build of Windows.